Today, we're diving into the Forex market to uncover a strategy that offers the highest reward for the lowest risk in Forex trading. So, if you're looking to trade smarter, not harder, you've come to the right place. The Forex market can be volatile, but with the right approach, you can minimize your risk while maximizing your profits. And today, we're focusing on a strategy known as trading close and reverses. And this strategy revolves around careful market analysis, disciplined risk management, and strategic trade placement. So let's break this down into simple steps. Step one, identify the trend. You may be even in a range, but you're still going up or down inside the range. All right. So the, the real thing is, are we going up or are we going down? By trading in the direction of the prevailing trend, you align yourself with the market's momentum. Use tools like MACD, trend lines, and the average true range to determine the direction of the trend. And the ATR, that's the average true range, signifies the volatility of the pair, which is the higher the ATR, the greater the volatility. It also means the further it can go, so it determines the target for today. So let's look at a chart. All right. So uh, as you can see on this chart, the rising wedge says it's going to go down and MACD tells you we are going to go short. OK, so um, we need to determine key support and resistance levels. And these levels act as psychological barriers where price tends to pause a reserve. And by identifying these levels, you can plan your entry and exit points more effectively. All right. So you can see here, I put just simply uh, the start of a new trend here and the FIB targets from the last uh, move up are going to give us the targets for the next move down. Click the swing high and the swing low. All right. Now, the levels from the last move are the targets for the next move in the same area. And note these levels can come from a 60 minute chart or a 240 minute chart, never below, but wherever you can easily see the high and the low. Now, the space between those levels are uncontested areas. Translation, that's your opportunity. All right. So you can see here, we start here and you see the space between the fibs. See the space? It's uncontested. That's why they move from one fib to the next. Here they go two fibs at one time. Here they go to three fibs at one time. See that? All right. Those are uncontested areas and those are areas that you can uh, profit. All right. So step three is to implement strict risk management. And this is where we control our risk. Always set a stop loss order to cap potential losses. And a good rule of thumb is to risk no more than one to two percent of your trading capital on a single trade. And I'll show you risk in just a minute. All right. So this is called a close and reverse. This is a picture I took off of a, a broker, a banker's uh, uh, platform. You can see the close and the reverse button. Now, if they just hit the close button, they just close the position. But if they hit the reverse pos uh, position, they close the former position and exit in the reverse uh, direction with the same amount of lots they just closed. All right. It's called a close and reverse. And by the way, the only people who can make it happen are the big boys. All right. So you can see here, this is how it works. The market was going down and then they reverse and up they go. All right. Now, now we know the new direction. All right. The new direction is to the upside because there's no reason to close the sell in this example unless you're going into a buy, right? So the big boys have entered a buy, right? A close and reverse dictates the next move, which can also only be a pullback, which is why you only trade them in the direction of the trend. That's why it's important to know, am I going down or am I going up? Because if I'm going up and I get a down movement with a close and reverse, then it's to retrace to go again to the upside, all right? So how do we trade it? Right. You got your down movement. You got your up movement. And if I can break the top of the down candle by one pip, I enter. The stop is five to seven pips below the lowest wick body, whatever it is on those candles. All right. <clears throat> so the break of the body of the previous candle by one pip. And that is your entry. All right. So uh, you can see them up here. All right. All right. 
So, uh, so plan your exit first and always find a place to at least double your position in route to the target. And if you don't have at least 55 pips to your predetermined target, you do not have a trade. But you may still have the close in reverse because the bankers are manipulating it. Enter the trade if the currency breaks the second candle by one pip. Stop placement is key to this trade and why it has the lowest risk of any trade setup in an, any trading instrument. Cryptos, uh, soybeans, whatever it is. The stop is only five to seven pips above or below the support, depending on the direction. All right. So here we have a close in reverse. Then you got another close in reverse. And then we got two close in reverses right there. All right. So. The stop is five to seven pips above the highest resistance of the close and reverse. So the stop is here, the stop is here, the stop is here. Wow, not much risk. See the low risk for the high reward. All right. So here's one to the upside. All right. Close and reverse. Yes, that's a close and reverse. That little candle is a spinning top, but it doesn't look like much. But they closed the sell and went into the buy. Very easy to see that one and pretty easy to see that one. All right. Never risk more than 2% on all tra open trades. I'm showing an account size of $2,000 with a stop loss of 35 pips all right. on the pound yen. I can trade 17 micros in this example. How would I trade that? Trade one would be six lots. Trade two would be 11 lots. All right. So risk versus reward. Is it worth it? This is the lowest risk for the highest reward. Press your winner with two or more entries on the same trade and you make hundreds of pips, not five to ten. All right. So you got to practice patience and discipline. You'll have to wait for this trade to set up on a 60 minute chart. It takes two 60 minute candles to appear. That's 120 minutes. Plenty of time to double check your levels and targets and set your entry orders to press your winners. Successful trading is not about frequent trading, but about taking high quality trades. Stick to your strategy. Avoid impulse decisions based on emotions. First, OK, that's the entry price. All right. The target price is up here. All right. And it's got those levels put in here. You can see the arrows. All right. And so the second entry is going to be above this stop. Right. I mean, this resistance right here. OK. So if you trade that correctly and the market co cooperates, and goes to target. Right. This this uh, trade will make you two hundred and twenty two pips. Forget that five, eight, 10, 12 pip stuff, folks. It doesn't work. All right. There's enough room to target and add a third position in this example. All right. So trade one is one third of my lots. Trade two is two thirds of my lots. But trade three is three thirds of my lots. Why? I am risking the profit of trade one and two and I'm risking the profit. So I'm not risking my own money. And that means I know I, I have no money at risk except for the profit I've made. And it's not my profit till I take it. All right. So trade one and two are, are um, put in as in, in risk as your stops are moved to protect profit that are already realized. All right. Now this same trade, what is it worth? OK, so you can see here. There's the third entry right there with room to the target. All right. So now look down here and you see that trade with three lots will make you 330 pips. It isn't worth getting up out of bed for five, eight, ten pips, folks. Start to trade for hundreds of pips. All right. So to summarize, all right, the highest reward for the lowest risk strategy in Forex involves determining the direction using a close and reverse on the 60 minute chart with a stop of only five to seven pips above the highest uh, wick or body of that uh, or lowest if you're going up and pressing your winners without exception. All right. So you need to just practice them like crazy before you take them live. I recommend doing 300 close and reverses first. Do it all at one time. And by following this strategy, you can increase your chances of success in the Forex market while keeping your risks in check. 
So if you found this video helpful, give a thumbs up and share it with your fellow traders. And don't forget to subscribe for more trading tips and strategies and be notified of the next video. Thanks for watching and happy trading.